keep this short and give you some ideas to think. So, if you might have accessed uh, one of the QC Finance Premium page, you can download the Financial Times series uh, PDF, which uh, talks about many aspects here. I'll take you through the PDF and some of the interesting things that we have. And maybe we'll do some more practice on Wednesday. So before I move ahead, uh, I want to talk about this concept uh, of creating skeleton or creating constructor or creating object. You can interchangeably use these three words. So our idea is to get everything into a financial time series object so that if you want to do anything uh, like uh, get uh, daily returns or directly calculate uh, the volatility or scale up the volatility to annual numbers by multiplying root 250 or uh, or find a correlation with a correlation between two items or or have a data structure in terms of uh, open, close, high, low, the, the format that we get for the financial data. So keeping all these things into consideration, they have created a financial time series object, which is a skeleton or a framework or a matrix, uh, which has many metrics in Excel. So that when you want to play around with data, you can easily do that. This financial time series uh, object can also be connected to Yahoo server or other servers that you are using. I think I talked a little bit about... If you have MATLAB, you can try these things right now. So the first concept starts with constructor. Constructor is to create a blank skeleton, just the framework without any data. And then uh, you can point data to parts of this skeleton or this frame. Text file may be important when you want. So once they are around the object, many operations, like if you want to do some technical analysis, and since this object gives you support for, as I told you, opening, closing, high, low, and what of those are the it will get around with. If you look at analysis, handling. First part, the time series object. Numbers into we have been talking about that we can give argument ones since that are at the right are optional. You start now a con an object I am reconstructed like uh, this is prior first have uh, defined columns it's like excel file data is the standard data, which out of uh, the close price which the other so this starts with uh, getting data into the system so I'm going to using these I run through this have uh, inserted value uh, so then they have used that variable in object Example, if you have, you can from here, eight series, put into the finally allocate place, yes, object, which is a financial time series object. So, yeah. the, the I to understand uh, how you are going to, yeah, so if you excel down with that, if you see series and data series, we can have off. two is then getting something involved in playing with date format. So, in SAS and R, in MATLAB, playing around with date format becomes most tricky. Once you can do that, you can look at like exponential smoothing, which typically work, a lot of other things. And like from this part, the name, I'll go and I'll write uh, MATLAB. Any arguments and what? If you want to, or financial, I doubt whether 
we can do that the red like page in this file support for them do just one done that you have to create of them and instead type something those are but for the portfolio the other easier way is uh, to create your own skeleton but if you are using some transformation or exponential smoothing and you want to automate work you can uh, this file if i name you might have the password you have to uh, the solve to get these things tab either way put in some rank and you to matlab so here as yes you have any other idea in mind do let me know go through the financial times is uh, pdf in case you want to try anything you can let me know so see you on wednesday